Good afternoon, everybody. It is Deanna Nichols, Notera Blue Diamond, with your oil a day. And I want you all to know that I am doing a whole lot better today. I am de um, struggling with a virus, as I mentioned on our Marjoram video yesterday. And um, it's so funny because <laughs> the oils that I had just previously talked about before I came down with the virus, and then the ones that were coming up as the daily oils were ones that have been extremely instrumental in me feeling better. And I have to tell you that this is probably one of the worst viruses I can remember having in the past several years since I've been using the oils. Um, I was talking to my some of my team members today that are I think are coming down, it sounds like, with the same thing. It really comes at you out of the blue, and it's like... It just kind of started out with a little bit of sneezing, and I thought I was just thing and all of a sudden I felt like I was going to die. <laughs> and I, I actually texted that to my mom because I mean, who do you, who do you message when you think you're going to die? Your mommy, right? And so, I texted her and I'm like, I'm going to die. And she gave me all these lists of oils I should be using, like any good mommy would do. Um, and so, one of the oils that was very helpful was Melaleuca, which is today's oil of the day and um it's actually always one that I grab when I have any kind of yucky going on whether it is um whether it's respiratory whether it's tummy related um it's my fits my throat it's just such a great one and for this particular virus hey Lane I'm still kicking so that's good news <laughs> um for this particular virus it has all been like congestion in the <coughs> in the um, head and chest and so this oil has been one that I've been using a lot like behind the ears and along the jawline I've been using I mean I was I was doing everything okay and that's kind of what you do like when you use oil when you eat healthy and you live a healthy lifestyle and you use the oils every day for your wellness you really don't get sick that much and to be honest when you do usually it's something simple and you get over it quick but then once in a while when you kind of let your guard down and I, and I, I think I told you that I haven't really taken care of myself too well for the past month or so. I've been kind of pushing myself, not getting rest, not eating the way I should be. Um, and just letting some, um, good habits kind of fall through the cracks a bit. And so when someone around me got the virus, whose initials are John Nichols, then, um, <laughs> I, what I should have done is I should have taken more precautions and I should have upped my, my cootie oils. Um, and I didn't, and I just kind of was lazy. And <sighs> so this particular time I knew that I was going to take more than just the, the 24 hours that it normally does to get over something. I knew that pretty quickly. And so I started using a lot more stuff and a lot more often and just playing with a lot of oils. And that's why it's so good to really know about the oils and have as many different ones as you can. Because although the foundational oils, which of which Melaleuca is one, the foundational oils like oregano, Melaleuca, On Guard, Lemon, Frankincense, um, Deep Blue, breathe. All those oils are great and wonderful. Those are usually fine for stuff, but when you when something like this hits, you got to break out some stuff that is not going to be in your top 10 oils. I had to break out cardamom and I had to break out thyme and I had to break out um cassia and marjoram and all kinds of things like that. And so <clears throat> in this particular case, melaleuca alone didn't do it, but it was a great help. And I like melaleuca cuz it does help to break up congestion. So I was putting it over here. I was putting it above, like on the bone, um, above my eye. I was putting it alongside my nose. I was putting it on my throat, which was really hurting. I was rubbing it on my chest, which I'm still doing, and I haven't done it enough this morning, which is why I sound like this right now. Um, <clears throat> and so Melaleuca is just always a good cootie oil. It's really great for um, if you have some sort of infection and you're taking an antibiotic, it's really good to take along with it, whether you're using a natural antibiotic or a prescribed synthetic antibiotic, um, whichever way you choose to go, always use Melaleuca with it because um, germs have this funny way they like to live, you know, they like to stick around. And so they build this really slimy substance around the germ cell and they try to encase themselves in there so nothing can get to it. And so Melaleuca is really good at breaking down that gunking so you can get to um, the bacteria and get rid of it. 
And so um, that's why it should always be included. And like I said, it's good at breaking down junk. And that's why it's included in my regimen right now. Um, it's very soothing to the throat. A lot of times when I have a sore throat, I will take On Guard, Melaleuca, and Lemon and put a drop of each in like a small amount of water, maybe like that much. So maybe four inches of water and just gargle and swallow. To be honest, this time I didn't do that because I seriously didn't even have the strength to stand up at that point. So I was just rubbing it on my throat and I was using the touch roller just because that's what I had next to my bed. Um, but I have found in situations like that, it seems like it's more effective to just use the straight oil because it's not um, heavily diluted. And I really needed it to get down into my throat without um, being able to gargle. So using a carrier oil was kind of keeping it right there on the surface and I needed it to go deeper. So I was, I'm having better results using the straight Melaleuca. Um, another thing that I use Melaleuca for a lot was with my son as a, as an infant. He's, you know, he's three now. So, um, this hasn't been an issue lately, but pretty much like the whole first two years of his life, we use Melaleuca behind his ears and along his jawline to, um, keep his ears healthy and his, um, teething issues at bay. And we could tell when he was starting to teeth, he would get kind of crabby and uh, fussy. And we would do that. And he would like, in 10 minutes, he'd be way calmed way down. And so that was very, very helpful. We would also do basil with that. So for ear issues, it's great. For sinus issues, it's great. For any kind of cooties, it's great. Mucus in the chest, it's great. Sore throats. Um, but it's really, really good for skin. So when I first started using the oils, I had a lot of toxins in my body. I was taking a lot of synthetic products and using a lot of synthetic products and had done that for, you know, over 35 years. And so um, I had a lot of toxins to get rid of. <clears throat> so uh, my skin was not very clear. I had a lot of breakouts, a lot of clogged pores, and just my skin just overall did not look healthy. I started to um, use natural face cleansers, things that did not have hormone disruptors and petroleum and synthetic fragrances in them, which pretty much everything that's a fragrance is synthetic, um, unless it's a doTERRA product. And so um, I started using natural cleanser. And then after my face was clean, I would take a little bit of Melaleuca, add it to some um, fresh aloe vera that I would keep in the fridge. And I would apply that to my face as an astringent. And my husband wasn't thrilled with the smell of me coming to bed smelling like Melaleuca. Um, I was probably using way too much of the oil too, cause I was used to other, um, much less effective oils and I was using like 10 drops or something. And that's way too much. You probably only need like three for your whole face if you mix it in something like the aloe. And so, um, I was also drinking lemon in my water, uh, the lemon essential oil from doTERRA and doing that all day, every day. And if, very soon, like within just a few months, people started making comments about my skin and how it was glowing and how it was so clear. And I had, um, porcelain skin and all these comments that people were saying to me that I had never heard and asking me about my skincare regimen. I thought it was really interesting because, um, the two main things that I had changed was drinking the lemon in my water and doing the Melaleuca as an astringent on my face. And so, um, I noticed that when I did have breakouts that, doing that on my face would, would make a difference in how they appeared in just a few minutes. Um, so if you have any scrapes, cuts, bug bites, um, any kind of, any kind of thing going on your skin, you don't even have to know what it is. Melaleuca is going to help. <coughs> and sorry guys. And one of the blends that, um, is really common that we make with Melaleuca is called Boo Boo Blend. You mix equal parts of um, Melaleuca and Lavender with a little dash of frankincense because frankincense is excellent for skin. And then you mix that with um, a, quite a bit of fractionated coconut oil because you don't want to be using a ton of oil directly on a wound. Um, you want it, you want it to, um, something to spread it out. So you mix it in coconut oil. So I would say if I had an empty bottle, I would fill it like three quarters of the way with fractionated coconut oil. And then I might do 20 drops of Melaleuca, 20 drops of lavender, and maybe eight drops of frankincense. I'm just, I'm not one for recipes. I sort of just guesstimate, but um, that's kind of what I would do. And then you can put a little, you can buy these little spray toppers from Aroma Tools or um, Oil Life or somewhere like that and screw it right on the lid. And then you can make a little spray. And it's a good thing to keep in a diaper bag for diaper area if it's heavily diluted with coconut oil, of course. Um, good thing to keep in your purse, especially if you have kids. 
and um, definitely if you're going to be out in the woods. Um, I can't tell you the number of times I spent like four months hiking this past spring and summer, <coughs> and um, when you're hiking in the woods, you're going to get stuff. You're going to get bitten by things. You're going to get scrapes and scratches and stuff like that. And so um, it's just, it's real easy if you make one of these, you can stick it right in your um, pocket, um, in your backpack, whatever, and then be ready for <coughs> any of those skin things. Um, if you're an athlete um, and you do sports a lot or you take like public showers or whatever and you want to make sure that you don't have any of those um, gross little cooties that happen from, that live in moist, dark areas, <laughs> if you don't want to deal with any of those. Melaleuca is a really good one, and again, you can just make a straight spray with Melaleuca, spray it on your feet um, after you get out of the shower um, <coughs> for um, very, very super sensitive areas like female itch areas um, or male itch areas that um, that could, this can happen to. You could just take like maybe three drops of Melaleuca and mix it in about in your palm of your hand with maybe like a quarter size amount of fractionated coconut oil, like the size of a quarter, and then three drops of melaleuca, and you can apply it topically to really sensitive areas like that, <coughs> and it's really going to help. I need some right now, but I don't know if I have enough hands to do that. I really do need it because I've got the coughing. Hang on. All right. So melaleuca is not the most awesome one to take internally, but doTERRA melaleuca is perfectly safe to do that with. It is very soothing to the throat. It's good for coughs. Um, and in situations like this where, you know, it's the only oil you have in your hand, it's probably the best one to do. <laughs> Some oil is better than none. That's my rule. Um, there's, there's a ton more stuff I could say, but I've chattered quite a while here and <clears throat> I do want to get to the emotional benefits of Melaleuca as well. And Melaleuca is known as the oil of energetic boundaries. I have found from a ton of personal experience and then a ton of experience working with a lot of people that some of us are more susceptible to other people kind of infringing on our energy space and allowing their negative energy to kind of enter our space because we tend to be people who are um, more vulnerable, like we're more willing to share who we are and our feelings and let people see who we really are. Um, we're also those who a lot of times will take on the um, problems of others and try to solve them. Um, we may have tendencies to be in codependent relationships, meaning there's an, it's an unhealthy relationship where we sort of feed off of each other and um, maybe the other person is always a victim and you're always solving the problem or the other person is a um, I don't want to name any names, so I'm trying to think of the, <laughs> I thought of a person's name instantly, I'm trying to wipe that idea out of my brain, um, bring that thought into captivity, replace it, um, narcissists, so a lot of times narcissists and empaths, people who, um, feel very strongly, feel other people's pain, tend to pair up and have this codependent relationship, and, at the same time, I find that these people are the most susceptible to things like candida, yeast overgrowth, um, mold illness, parasites, um, even illness from getting bit by a tick, things like that. Things where there is like a parasitic relationship involved. <clears throat> and it has to do with your energy. Even in my example at the beginning of this video where I talked about how I had let my self, you know, just my self-care drop a little bit. <coughs> and so that I was more susceptible to this virus. It is the same way that when we let our emotional self-care, we don't have any boundaries that we um, are opening ourselves up more to low energy people, people who kind of suck the energy and suck the life out of us. So I would just question that if you are struggling with any of those health issues that I mentioned, where there's sort of a parasitic type relationship, that it may be worth considering that you have allowed um, just low energies into your field. And so Melaleuca is a really good one to include in your daily regimen, inhaling it, putting it in a diffuser, really just using it in any way you can. 
<laughs> to help you. I'm so sorry. I promise that um, I will look so much better tomorrow on my video and sound so much better. If you had seen me two days ago, you would understand how much I've improved. But um, anyway, this is just a good oil to include to help you maintain those strong boundaries. Um, boundaries are a good thing. Um, you do want to be open, like we talked about yesterday, you want to have connection, that marjoram, you want to have the connection with people, and you want to understand they're safe people and unsafe people, but it's important to recognize um, boundaries. Um, I have had to do that a lot more as I've had more of a public persona. Um, uh, sometimes people think that because I'm on live videos or because I share my life on social media that they can, you know, tell me just... <laughs> oh, you look like crap, or your kid, you know, you need to spank your kid, or um, <clears throat> just things like that where there's just like a massive boundary being crossed or just very disrespectful comments on Facebook posts, things like that. And that's happened quite a bit more as I've opened myself up more. But the good news is, is that I am learning to have boundaries. And so I will immediately tell that person, sorry, you don't have access to me if you can't respect me as a person, as a real person with feelings and, you know, that has the need for privacy and things like that. So um, those are things that we have to learn, skills that we have to learn, especially as we open up. And so we don't want to have a fear of opening up, but we also want to learn to have boundaries. And so I love how each of the oils can teach us a little bit different thing that we can use to grow and be a stronger person so we can be more effective with the purpose that we have here on the earth. Um, Thank you for putting up with this terrible video of me snotting and coughing all over you. And um, thank goodness that germs do not travel across the uh, internet. Um, but put your Melaleuca on. Keep yourself, um, keep some boundaries between you and the cooties, whether they be physical or emotional. And have an awesome day. Shine on.